What's going on guys? Overdressed George here once again with another opening for you. Today we are opening something that is kind of funny to me. So we have the tag team packs of Mewtwo and Mew, Guard Champ and Giratina, and Lucario and Melmetal. Now if you saw uh, one of my other openings on this channel which was literally this. I had ordered these off TCG Player. I got them for a hundred dollars, all three of them. And then less than a week later, I had gone to a local-ish Walmart and they happened to have them all in stock, which I haven't seen these in a while. Out in the uh, wild, that is. So I ended up buying them there, which I opened and these just came in the mail. So I decided to crack these open for you guys. Um, I had really good pulls, if I remember correctly, from the other tins, uh, probably some of the better pulls I've ever had. So I'm hoping these are, you know, you know, close or exactly the same or better would be better but anyway uh yep we're just gonna crack them open get right into it so they each come with a promo of whichever two pokemans is on the front four packs uh one of the big metal gx coins which i still cannot figure out what i'm supposed to do with but i don't know besides throw it at somebody i guess but here we go this is the Mel Metal and Lucario tin. We're gonna start here, work our way backwards again like we did in the other opening. And yeah, let's uh, let's get right into it. I'm gonna grab my handy dandy Batarang. Slice ever so gently. And rip. All right, yeah, I was really excited to order these online and then I found them in store and my excitement uh, waned slightly. Cause I was like, oh, I ordered these already. But, uh, and I got really good pulls out of them, so I was very happy, and I'm quite happy to open some more. Okay, so in here, be a little gentle there, and we'll get rid of the code card. In here we have the Lucario and Melmetal promo, which I do, I love all these tag team cards. I'm trying to find some more packs for not enough crazy price so I can try to add some more of these to my collection because the two Pokemon per card is just I love it I love the tech teams and I love how they've decided to match them up by typing or are they all matched up by typing by a single type I want to say so and then the packs in here oh and this is also the big GX thing that let me see if you guys can hear this hear how heavy that was this thing's like a little brick and I just don't know what to do with it you can't flip it like a coin I guess you can. No, you can't. But um, yes, so <laughs> packs inside, we have a Cosmic Eclipse, a Lost Thunder, a Celestial Storm, and the Evolutions, which is nice. So yeah, let's go, let's go 10 by 10. I want to see which ones pull which cards. So we're going to start with the Cosmic Eclipse, and it got all the three little babies on the front. Which is funny because if you see my other opening of the Small But Mighty box, uh, I got the promo with all three of them, which is cool. That's a pretty nice promo. Okay. So we got a one, two, three, four. Put them to the front. All right, guys. Wish me luck. We have a Water Energy. A Mimikyu. A Beastite. A Lilith. A Slugma. A Chinchow, a Cosmog, didn't know, uh, I've not seen a Cosmog card yet, a Panchem, a Drill Bear. Reverse, we have an Alolan Grimer. Let's move some of these packs to the side. And for the rare, we have an Entei. Okay. Not the craziest rare in the world, but, you know, I love my big legendary dogs, so I'll take it, I'll take it. All right, pack one done. Celestial Storm with the Jirachi on the front. Move that code on out of the way. Oh, one, two, three, four. We have a Fire Energy. A Swaylot. Is that? It looks like a clay version to me. I was really like, I know I've said it pretty much every video, but I like the alternate cards that are not just like drawn or digital, though. Ones that are actually real things in real life, like the yarn and the clay and stuff. Always really interested. Uh, he is really screaming. A ball toy. I feel like this is the classic ball toy art, like the 
official Pokemon one. I feel like I've seen this a hundred times. A Bagon. A Torchic. A Love Disc. See, speaking of other ones, we have a Yarn Love Disc. A Spinarak. A Reverse Sky Pillar. And for the rare, a Salamence. Okay. A Foil Salamence. I absolutely adore Salamence. I think in a previous video I said Garchomp was my favorite dragon. But Salamence, they're both they're both they're like neck and neck for favorite dragon. Salamence's shiny form is so cool. The green is just... And I think his Pokédex entry, does this say it? It flies around on its wings, which have grown in at last. In its happiness, it gushes hot flames, burning up the fields it passes over. I think there's one uh, Pokédex entry, I couldn't even tell you what game at this point, but it says that they fly at like mock speeds, which his mega form is kind of like a, he looks more like a flying ship almost, right? With like the U, like the moon, the crescent moon shaped wings. But yeah, I always thought that was really interesting. Imagine it, unless I'm remembering incorrectly, but imagine a Salamence flying into your house at like Mach 2. We have a Lost Thunderpack. Another thing I like about these tins, if you can get them at a reasonable price, is that they have a bunch of older, well, they're not that old, but they have a bunch of older packs that you really can't get except for pretty high prices nowadays. So it's nice to pick them up, get some really cool promos in my opinion, and just, uh, and just get some cards that I wouldn't normally get. We have a Fairy Energy, a Pinsir. It's the saddest Pinsir I've ever seen. A Choice Helmet, Morty, a Cub Chew, a Yarn, a Yarn Fampy. I just want to know the person who's sitting there knitting all these Pokemon together. I, I need to meet them. A Marini, a Yamask, a Fairy Charm for the reverse, and a Cofarigus, a Cofagrigus, whoops. Oh, that's, well, I got the yeah, Mask and the Kofagrigus right back to back. So if I remember correctly from the last opening, I think I did the same thing. I opened Lucario and Melmetal first, uh, then Garchomp and Giratina, and then Mewtwo and Mew. And I think the Melmetal box is the one where I hit. Pretty sure I got a secret out of it and that really cool Rayquaza. All right, time for the Evolutions pack. We will move a code card. I think Evolutions, I keep forgetting, I think it's three to the front. Yep, looks looks right. We have a Charizard Spirit Link, a Charmeleon, a Double Colorless Energy, a Voltorb, a Tangula, a Poliwag, a Seal, a Magikarp. For the reverse, we have a Haunter, the classic 3D Haunter. And for the rare, you know, I think I've pulled several electrodes at this point, and I just, I just don't ever want to see them again, to be honest. All right, well, that was box number one. Nothing uh, very spectacular in here, but that's because I went with my uh, steel Pokemon when Dragon, everybody knows Dragon is the way to go. Oh, this has a little slit in it. Don't think it's repackaged, but. All right, so we're gonna get right into the Giratina and Garchomp one, since the Melmetal and Lucario let me down but then again i guess that's just because i'm comparing it to the first time i opened them and they both or lucario and uh mel metal did me very very well all right every box has the same packs so got these four again <laughs> this big old metal gx coin that's i'm gonna have to do some googling Maybe should have done before the video and just find out what people use that for. Is it a counter? Is it it's just like a collectible that you recycle? I don't know. Okay, that's the Giratina and Garchomp box. Here is the promo again, which is, I want to say it's Garchomp like staring at Giratina through whatever alternate world, I forget the exact name of it, that Giratina kind of lurks in. I do still love this move, move though, GG end. Good game you lost. Okay, well, we have a Cosmic Eclipse pack. A bunch of these older sets, such as Cosmic Eclipse, not that old, but I'm not too familiar with. I've only had the time to kind of memorize the newer sets, but I'm slowly, I'm slowly getting there, so this is a learning experience. Hakomo O, a Herdier. I think I, I definitely pulled this one last time because I remember saying that he looks like he's just like flying through the sky. A Celio, 
Hipponita. Oh, that's pretty cool art. A Crab Brawler. A Carvana. A Chin Chow. A Yarn Azuril. Maybe I should just... Maybe that should be my, like, niche in Pokemon, is I just collect all the yarn cards ever made and try to recreate them. Ooh. Okay. A full art Magnemite with Lieutenant Surge. All right. I have not... Oh, is Cosmic Eclipse the one with Ash and Ash's Pikachu? Wow. I'm actually pretty... Okay. I'll take this. This is pretty nice. Pretty nice. Didn't finish my, uh, my word there. But that's cool. And for the rare, we got a Weevil. Well, this is a rare as well, but we'll put that down there. That's actually really cool. I think there's one of these for every uh, Kanto gym leader at this point. Lieutenant Surge with Magnemite. Oh, okay. I'll take that. Nice full art card. Uh, we'll put this one over here. You know, I'm kind of surprised they didn't give him, like, Raichu. Isn't Raichu, like, his signature Pokemon? Don't you remember Ash's Pikachu crying because he just didn't want to evolve? And then ended up beating a Raichu? Okay. We won't go there. It's a really neat card. I actually like how the foiling, too, is uh, not on, on this Magnemite or Lieutenant Surge. It's on, like, the whole background, so everything shines but them. That's actually really cool. Okay. All right, see, Giratina and Garchomp. I knew to trust them. We have a Lost Thunder pack. We have a Fighting Energy, a Shuckle Shuckle, and a Lowland Dug Trio, which is clay art again. I'm just getting all these interesting cards today. This, this looks like regular Diglets that somebody just put like little Lego wigs on those. Uh, Professor Elm's Lecture, a Cyndaquil, a Pinaco, a Combi, a Litleo, a cutie fly. For the reverse, we have a Trumbeak. It's actually pretty, it's like pretty neat art. I never really cared for Trumbeak, but that is uh, probably the coolest he's ever looked. And for the rare, we got a Vicente, which yeah, it looks a little weird. Kind of, it's got like fish, fish bowl eyes. Okay. We're going to move right along to Celestial Storm. A Electric Energy. A Vigoroth. I love Vigoroth's whole thing where slack off and slacking are just like super lazy. And then he's just like, come on, guys, we have to go. Nuzleaf. A Friend Ball. A Beldum. And a Lolan Ratatata. A Voltorb. It looks like classic Voltorb bar too. A Trico. A Gulpin. Another clay art. Buried in the... Can you imagine making a Gulpin out of clay and then going into the woods and like burying it in some like brush and just taking a photo for a Pokemon card? Yeah, I, I can actually imagine doing that. For the rare, or the foil, we have a Slugma. Okay. And for the rare, we have an Electrode GX. That's it. <laughs> That's that's what I get for uh, for talking down to this electrode. They blessed me with the GX. I knew it was here. Okay. I'm happy to pull a GX, though. And it happens to be an electric to go with Magnemite, so we got a theme going here. Maybe I'll get... What electric mega evolution is in evolutions? Is there one? No, no, no. But, yeah, that's cool. We'll take it. I'm surprised I never gave Electrode, like, another evolution that's, like, a Great Ball or Ultra Ball or probably not a Master Ball, but, you know, something else, like, a, make him into a different Pokeball. All right. So we got our Evolutions pack. I've opened a decent amount of Evolutions at this point. Um, they've always come in boxes, never paid, like, over retail or anything. And I feel like I've just never hit off any... Uh, I think I actually pulled a Mega Charizard from one, but not the full art, the regular one. So I guess I can't say I've never hit from it, but I feel like uh, these evolutions packs just don't just don't really give me what I'm looking for. We got a Pidgeot Spirit Link, a Polygonal Porygon, a Full Heal, a Psychic Energy, the Little Pikachu Man, Growlithe, Machop, Nidoran, 
a reverse foil Caterpie. Ready? And for the rare. A Dugong. And see, that's exactly what I mean. Okay, so we have the last box left. Last tin left. Mewtwo and Mew. Um, last time I checked, this promo was still like 20 bucks, I think. So that's cool. I mean, with the Mewtwo and Mew, I think the Garchomp and Lucario ones are they're each like three, four bucks, if that. But this one is worth a couple. So you kind of get your money's worth with the promo alone. Four packs. Mewtwo and Mew. A code card. A big ol' <laughs> GX adder. We're just not even going to talk about this one. All right. We're going to put the tin together. Put it to the side. And let's get into these packs. Here is this beautiful Mewtwo and Mew again. Where Mewtwo is completely fed up with Mew shenanigans. He's like, can't you just, just take your nap? Just go to sleep. Okay. Well... Just like every other time, we are starting with Cosmic Eclipse. A Fairy Energy. Misty and Lorelei. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, they're both water trainers. Yeah, that's cool. Or Misty's, or uh, Lorelei's Ice, but same thing. An Identified Fossil. A Komo'o. A Fula Bebe. Tangula. A Dusko. A Temple. <laughs> See? The Yard. What? Is this whole set full of them? A Piplup. A Reverse Palpitoad. I don't really mind Seismitoad, but I hate how this Pokemon looks. She just looks like a little chunky fish frog thing with warts. I don't know. And for the rare. <laughs> what, are, what are the chances of that? Speak of the devil and he shall appear. You know, looking at this Seismitoad, though, he's pretty off-putting as well. Okay, we have a Lost Thunder. A Fire Energy. A Silcoon. A Kahili. I think that's how you spell it. A Dedene. A Marini. A Snowball. Like how does the little flower on its head? It makes it less off-putting. A Slugma. A Picky Peck. A Bruxish. It's not a Pokemon you see that often. Yeah, this, wait, does this thing not even evolve? Just a Bruxish? Huh. A Vespaquin as a reverse foil. Love me some Vespaquin. And for the rare. Oh, are you kidding me? Another Vicente? Oh, got played on that pack. I feel like every time I've done one of these openings where I open these three tins, one tin is really good, such as the Garchomp one, which, you know, it's better than everything else I've pulled. But maybe I shouldn't speak too soon, though. A Celestial Storm. A Water Energy. A Hiker. A Lure Ball. An Oricorio. I know there's like four forms of this one. A C Dot. A Beldum. A Ratatata. A Voltor. That was the same pack as literally like the same pack as last time. A Plusle. Reverse. And for the rare. Ooh, let's go. Awesome. That is a beautiful card. The Rayquaza GX. Wow, I have two Rayquazas now. Was it from the same set? I don't think so. I actually don't remember which one the other one was from, but... Okay. I will definitely take a GX, especially Rayquaza, one of my favorite dragons of all time. I need to... I really need to get a shiny Rayquaza card, because the black Rayquaza is just... It just looks so cool. It just looks so dang cool. Okay. Well, I'm happy to get another one. I was I was hoping we wouldn't strike out in the last two packs. That was a beautiful Charizard. A Charizard. A beautiful Rayquaza. It's been a long day. So two GXs, the Magnemite. Okay. 
And that leaves us with one pack left, and it is an Evolutions. Will this be the Evolutions that blesses me with something? Your guess is as good as mine. Well, let's cross our fingers. We have a one of the Secret Rares, an Executor. I had pulled this guy from a previous pack, so that's cool, though. It's, it's really interesting to see that none of the secrets from this set, except for, like, the Flying Pikachu or the Surfing Pikachu, are really worth anything, even though they are still pretty rare. A Misty's Determination. A Revive. An Energy. A Redditata. A Vulpix. The classic Electabuzz. Oh, man, I remember that. A Magikarp. For the reverse, we got a Poliwag. It's the moment of truth, guys. And for the rare... We're just going to bury that one. We are just going to bury that one. Not even talk about the far-fetched. How could they make him a rare? How could they do it to me? <laughs> All right, guys. So that was the three tins openings. I uh, went through them a little quicker than last time since we kind of knew what was inside of them. Uh, we're actually going to stack these to the side, the reverse hollows to the side. So we got a really a beautiful Rayquaza a cool electrode and a amazing magnemite I actually this is probably my favorite I really like the trainers or the gym leaders or trainers with the Pokemon I'm gonna have to look into the full collection of these but I'm super happy to have pulled the Rayquaza we got some more cool promos so that's always nice and this is probably be unless I can find like another of the Mewtwo tins for a relatively decent price probably be the last time I open these tins so I got two promos of each now which I'm not too mad at but thank you guys very much for watching if you liked the video, feel free to drop a like down below and subscribe. My Instagram and Twitter are in the bio of the video. If you want to follow me on there, I post uh, my polls and just some other Pokemon content. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Stay tuned for some more openings coming soon. Hopefully by the time I put this out, I will have my Shiny Star V-Boxes in hand, but I won't count on it. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Pokemon Trainer George.